Today I'm going to show you a tip on installing bumper grommets here for your bumper brackets. Now, you look at this and say, oh, that looks easy enough. Just pop it in and you know, squeeze it in the hole and you're good to go. Well, you'll find if you try to just do that, that you're going to end up in a situation where you might get one side in and the other side you're struggling with. Let me show you a real easy way to do this that's going to make your life a lot better, save you time. Our old friend WD-40 liberally coat this. You want to coat the, the slot that's right in here because that's going to go on the fender. Make sure you get this all lubed up on the inside too because when you go to slide your bumper bracket through these, it's going to make things a lot better. You do not want to put these on the bumper bracket and then try to get them in, because you're probably not gonna be able to do it. So I just wipe off the outside a little bit. You could even spray a little on your fender here to help lube it up. Now there is a top and the bottom. As you can see, the longer end it goes towards the top. Snap it in the hole top and bottom. Now you're still going to have the same situation as you had before, but being that it's lubricated, it's going to be a lot easier to get that into the groove. Boom. And that's it. Super fast. And what's going to happen is once you get your bumper bracket in here, it's going to push it out and fill out this hole a little more. Uh, this car had the original ones on it, so there's markings from where they were. Um, it may not cover them completely, but that could be the case. I just pushed it out. But that's pretty much it. Now it's ready, uh, we're ready to pop the bumper in. Well, I hope this tip will save you some time in the future when you do this on your Beetle. Definitely save some aggravation, and every little bit helps. Okay, so here's the bumper installed. You can see the grommet in here. See it on the inner side. And it came out nice.